haven't seen any like this yet, right? Seventy two mega, really? Why? And neighbors are going to have a lot of problems. So basically, this is how you end up losing information afterwards, like this. As they do the stuff like this. You see this? Tanya Fayone's cancer. Tanya Fayone's cancer goes way back in time. Tanya Fayone's cancer goes to to the time when she was that I know of that they recorded this in front of me. Um, she, her mother. I remember one beautiful sunny day where they would take me to this clinic and stuff like this because I was interested in Tanya Fayon. She's about the same age like I am, right? So let me see here. Yeah, the same age like I am. Exactly the same. Look at that. A few months she's older than myself. Tanya Fayon is cancer problems. Let me just calculate my age, basically what my age was at the time. You know, I was 20 years old. I don't think I was 20 years old. Okay, so her problems. I you know, uh, finished this. Da, 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 da. About like my age. I think about my age, like 18, 17. I think it was about like 17, 18 when uh, Tanya Fayon was experiencing cancer problems. Uh, something they continued to, to postpone and harass with because this was supposed to become my wife. This was my MK Ultra darling from Slovenia. So I know when I worked with her and with her mother, uh, with these politicians in Ljubljana, I don't know who they, whom they have. And it was a clinic that she went on for examination. It was a very, very bad news. Uh, but what's interesting is they, it was Milan Kuchan, when I say they, Milan Kuchan personally demanded uh, a rehearsed uh, the cancer situation because what happened is when she got a cancer, I didn't want to be with her. 
I mean, her life completely shifted. Uh, you're talking about a cancer patient's patient. Um, young, beautiful, but cancer patient. And uh, I wasn't going to go and fall for the Belgrade honey with the cancer. I did not know her from anywhere else than MK Ultra. I had a very deep feelings for her. <laughs> Maybe it sounds to you a bit sensitive, but uh, it's uh, even more insensitive. Ins insensitive. It's even more insensitive that these people were so insensitive about me. And so, um, unfortunately, things for her did not work out. It's just, just as simple as this. Unfortunately, she had a cancer. Um, what can you do about this? All I can say is, uh, if I would meet her in a different circumstances in real life, it would have been different. But this is not what Milan Kuchan was looking forward to. Milan Kuchan was looking forward to create as many as possible uh, documents with, which he would suggest historically, because he did not plan on this case to ever come out. That I was insensitive, racist, uh, and who knows, as much as you can denigrate somebody, as much as you can cause somebody a problem, uh, you know, when the person is drugged up, that's what MK Ultra is, without any ability to defend himself, without any ability to live, to have his life, job, anything in life, it's actually, you know, a miracle that I stopped short of committing some kind of hate crime, something I would be charged with, with the anticipated they hoped for so much it would develop over the course of time so I mean, we've got to be honest about this uh this is mk ultra honey i would meet her during mk ultra being being drugged up and no i wasn't gonna go and marry somebody with whom i would visit belgrade since i was a baby she was involved in belgrade I wasn't going to do this under absolutely any circumstances. So this is basically how you end up losing information. Uh, in a crucial moment, neighbors have disabled the internet. Uh, I am just few feet away from the Wi-Fi, from the wireless router. Let me demonstrate. This is basically the way they operate, right here. This is a Wi-Fi upgrade. Hold on. I uh, have to remove this. Yeah, that's about right. There you go. Wi-Fi right there. And a oh. few feet away from it, right here. Neighbors do it. Neighbors do the stuff. Neighbors do the business. They do it. Um, it's also important to stress that I do not like her at all because she was abusing, she was abusive, uh, because as a child already, because she was, she became a subject to, to Milan Kuchan, who would. No, there is this fucking dead. I have to record this stuff again. He uh, used the opportunity when we went to the clinic for no less than seven fucking years. He what started when I was probably in 17 years old, when we were about 17 years old. Um, Milan Kuchan would never ever stop with that stuff until probably sometimes I can. Um, her mom would also lose temper, and they would repeat this stuff, and uh, it would repeat then in in uh, 
there was uh, a time when was, she was with the father, you know. It was also her father that was in the picture, and then the two separated, mom separated from one. She had a really handsome father. The two separated from one another, from the mother, they divorced. Really, really strange stuff. And um, I, I was guilty for that too, that the parents have separated. I was guilty for that stuff naturally too. There was nothing I wasn't guilty about. I was absolutely, absolutely, I was guilty. I was absolutely guilty for everything. Um, the, the cancer issue with her uh, repeated and repeated and repeated with the biggest accent that uh, when it comes to my case, the cancer that I did not even care about her uh, was concentrated actually on her age when she was like in the third grade of the university, something like that. They wanted to make look like it was like in a third grade of the university, but it was already earlier. This was at the age, I don't know, when she was like 21, something like that, 22. And really, it would not stop. This is where her mother gained the power and would go after me time and again, time and again, time and again. I was guilty for everything. I was guilty for the divorce, for the parents. Uh, her father was actually... Her father was actually, I think he even had a blue eyes, you know, that he had a, he was like a blue eyes and uh, I think he was like light complexion, actually. No, I never, I never browsed this stuff. I was not interested in this. I was not interested. They don't mention anything in personal life. That uh, something about uh, married to the German journalist. They don't mention anything anywhere. You know, here it is. Um, in my personal opinion, she is exceptional lady. Uh, the problem, however, that she has is tremendous. Uh, she, is a, she is an exceptional lady. There is no absolutely no doubt about it. She was extremely talented and extremely smart. Uh, under different circumstances, you would meet, I probably would marry her, even with a cancer. Uh, the problem is, however, that she was attached to the Belgrade. She was attached, she was addicted to the Serbian Chetniks. She was addicted to the Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan to her was like a father. And I'm not the only one who can say this. It became apparent to the British royals that Robert Golob, they even started to believe that Robert Golob was a son from Milan Kuchan. And, well, when it came to uh, Tanya Fayon, uh, it was like very, very similar. You know, similar, I could not stand Milan Kuchan. I could not. I, 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 I could not see the motherfucker because he was involved in crime against me since my childhood through the Belgrade, and he committed himself to so many crimes against me. Uh, he Actually, he replaced Josip Broz Tito. This is a small but extremely violent thug. War criminal, literally. If it was, I don't understand. Yeah, then if it was not, a, if it was not a father, then it was a boyfriend from the mother. Doesn't matter. Mother had a boyfriend.
So I was guilty for, you know, for for the boyfriend parting with mother, obviously, if it was not a father. The cancer, the cancer with uh, Tanya Fayon, according to the Tanya Fayon, was, this, was discovered in her third grade of the faculty of the university. I'll tell you that. She's going to say this to you, but in reality, it was already earlier. It was already earlier that she had problems with the cancer. So, not true. They wanted to, like, you know, but not true. Not true. Bogdan Fayon. Okay, so her father Bogdan Fayon passed away um, apparently in 2001. 2001. Um, What I can say is the numbers match. The numbers really, really match. And just as I say, two thousand and one. No, actually, no. Actually, I think that do her involvement, um, it's it's very very difficult to you know to to say anything. Uh, I I think that uh, what you what you actually see here was a young father of hers, and because. I approved more this face here, which is like sturdy, uh, bulkish, um, is something that she alone instigated in it, and I don't trust even any of that, that this was her father, that he became fat and his face changed. Uh, as you see, I mean, it's already crazy stuff that you wouldn't post, you know, the pictures of a politician about something about your father who was who worked for the even for the RTV Slovenia, you know. Uh, if you see here, he was employed by the RTV Slovenia. RTV Slovenia is the main TV station in Slovenia. You know what I mean? So, um, her mom was extremely... How can I say? 
These people had a shitty personality, shitty criminal, backstabbing, murderous personality as it gets. There was actually nothing that would come out of their mouths other than a lie. It was lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. Yeah. So um, the boyfriend that came on the picture. I'm just going to leave all that stuff. And I'm just going to say that Tanya Fayon is going to tell you all that she got a cancer in the last grade of the university. Yeah, so that was probably about her. Some, sometimes at her age, like, I don't know, probably I would say 22, something like that. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to say about Tanya Fayon, whether we know each other. Um, nobody pointed out that she would have a cancer since age like 22. Actually, let's go and see something here. She doesn't share anything about. Uh, she says that she actually managed through the. She bit the the cancer, the blood cancer. Okay. Bolesen nas premenizes ne moje. Uh, that will be actually here uh, 2000 and, uh, 2003. 2003. She's suggesting that she, she, she got cancer uh, 20 years ago, which is 2003, and that that's not correct. Unless 2003 was the third grade of the her university, however, he had cancer already before this. She had cancer already before that. She started to have a cancer problems since the high school. Uh, when you're talking about, probably you can just take away another, um, like I stated, like two, eight and down 2002. Boom, boom. 1998 to be exact my numbers match to the last millimeter and i was guilty for it all i was guilty for absolutely everything for the loss of the for the law of what became it was divorce then it was a loss of the father i'm actually thinking about something else i'm actually thinking Breaking up. That uh, the mom bro broke relationship with. Uh, no, actually. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Twenty years ago, she read she had it, uh, lost uh, a father. Twenty years ago, right? Uh, also, twenty years ago, everything is twenty ago. Uh, Tanya Fayon. She's going to tell you it was the third grade of the university. Um, I'm telling you it was already earlier. By 20 let pokojne oče Bogdan Fajon. You know, um, her father probably really died. That was in 2001. That was in 2001. And that she would have like in 2003, there would be a cancer and that kind of stuff. Um, um, you know what? 
I do not know. You know what? I will tell you honestly, I do not believe her father died at all. I honestly will tell you, I believe her father went on, proceeded his life with another lady. And this is probably what I was guilty. It wasn't about mom that she would have an affair with somebody, but it was the father, her father, that went on most likely with another lady. Um, there is nothing here to say. So, um, the question about the Bogdan Fionius, whether this man was cremated or he was buried like people get buried. And uh, I'm afraid the answer to the question is cremated. That much about the cancer from Tanya Fayon. If you want to lesson somebody about the cancer, wish you had a cancer, she's never going to lesson me. There's one person she's not going to lesson about her own life because I paid with the blood. These people were torturous. They committed so many crimes that I'm actually surprised they would even share any kind of any information with me at all. I was guilty. I was guilty. I was guilty first. Number one, I was guilty for the father who had an affair. This was number one. And number two, I became guilty for the father is dead. That means this man did not die, but he was cremated, most likely dead, la, la, la. And he did move, I think, to some apartment with some lady, to another city, something like this it was. Um, that's number two. And number three, I became guilty for her cancer. And I was became guilty for her cancer. But in meanwhile, they forgot about, they forgot about that she had already problems in a high school with a cancer, and she alone stated in the company of the police officers, the people that participated in MNK Ultra, that she experienced cancer problems in her third grade of the university. So now I'm going to go. Um, listen, Skolch, Galobic, this was her company. The thing about it is, We're going to see the curriculum vitae, curriculum vitae, and we're going to know exactly what I need to know is when was she attended the university exactly, so that we go to the last year, to the last date, because it was not 2003. When I said, when I said, we're going to see this immediately, maturira in gimnazi poliane. Je univerzitetna diplomirana novinarka z zaključenim poddiplomskim študijem v področju mednarodne politike na univerzi v Parizu, kot novizane tega razloga v Skajer, od leta 2001 kot dopisnica iz Brustja. Ok, so... What I need to know is something else. What I need to know is exactly where she was in 2001, 2003. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am totally, totally actually wrong about the stuff I'm talking about. Um, I wanted to say I was guilty for her cancer. When it comes to her cancer, because I made a mistake, and it's understandable, for 10 years more. So, therefore, um, not 2002, but 19, no, actually, no, that cannot be possible, because I finished in 1991.
one, so that would be 1995. So she had a cancer officially. She had a cancer since about like 1994 because she proceeded with a uh, with a university in Ljubljana, and we are talking about here Ljubljana. We are not talking about here university in Paris. We're not talking about the university here uh, in, uh, in, in a Paris. Uh, we are talking about Ljubljana here in a Paris. Uh, she proceeded in a Paris. Uh, one of the first that she would go to the Paris, uh, literally through this exclusive case with also Serbs. I know the Serbs that know her. Literally became grateful to her. They would travel, they would use this connection to get scholarship in Paris. This is the stuff that went on, yes. She was, however, the first one that would use this option for the Paris. But what I need to know is something else. You see, they, they don't tell anything. This is a gymnasium, Poliana, um, Diplomera, and Novina, Constitution for Diplomacy, the Political University. Paris, un novinar che deve con radio schifo stare radio Glass Ljubljane eh, era in 1995 la radio televisiva slovenia ma de 1992 1992 era dopo pensa in here is the deal here is the deal here is the deal um so Very, very, very poorly. Uh, the resume they don't they don't uh, they don't break down anything about. It's like it's not a curriculum vitae. Actually, it's not. It's really not. Yes, but not the political management at the time. How you want? I was guilty to her absolutely everything. Oh, I was guilty to her that she could not have a children because of me too. She made me state uh, that I would not want to have a children with her. Uh, the next thing that happened was she actually further pushed uh, for me to say through the torture they do this stuff like this they make you state to do something to her so she would not have a children that I would not have a children with her literally she managed to accomplish this through the torture so when I say this stuff you know it's a mag daddy it's a mama of all the torture that was involved through her the next thing you see is she comes to me and says well I cannot have a child and that was actually because of I cannot we, we, I can, we, we cannot have a life together because I cannot have a child and you want a child this was the last thing and this was the shot that she fired at me together literally through the uh, Louis Louis Petrle through the so-called Milan Kuchani's opposition that participated in it Loisa Petrle became expert, torture expert, and a frequent torture advisor to what he refers as leftists and communists, and I don't know what, yes? Um, guilty, again, in 2004, 2003, that she cannot have a child. That now that she cannot have a child, and again, it was because of me. She had a cancer when she was 21, 22 years old. 21, 22 years old. The next thing you see, 
when was this? When was this? I don't know. This must have been then like I, I was like I finished in, 90, in 1991, mechanical engineering technician. That's a secondary. Uh, and so uh, I, I anticipate that that must have happened sometimes in 1994, according to her. According to her account, that was like, no, 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 sorry. We got to be very, 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 very careful with this stuff. Uh, I have to be extremely careful with this stuff, what I say. Whew. She experienced the cancer since the high school. What exactly that means? That means since she was about 16, 17 years old. Finished the high school, okay, 18 years. I had no idea what she did with herself. She was one of the first that would go to Paris. So what I anticipate is 1993 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, cancer, according to her, the last great uh, listen, I, I went through so many humiliations and beatings by this family by the time that she reached age uh, 22, uh, 23, 22, uh, that I would definitely not make a mistake. I did make a mistake because uh, I made a mistake that it was in 2002 when it was actually in 1992. That uh, was her third grade, I think, university, when she claimed cancer. So I made the mistake for 10 years, but I'm not wrong about this. And it's important that this stuff comes out. So there's a 1992, 1993, uh, Tanya Fayon officially get a cancer. Uh, her father begins to fuck with another lady. He has an affair. And the lady is from another place, from another location in the area. Uh, the next thing I hear is a boom, boom, big problems, big fuck up. The parents go apart. Uh, the next thing you hear is father cancer dad. Again, me guilty for it. And it's the way that she describes this is fucking incredible. Uh, it's incredible because I know that it was 1992 that she got a cancer. And everything with her ends with number 20. You see? 20 years, uh, father Bogdan dead at RTV Slovenia. The only picture that you can find on the internet is suggesting December 9. December 9 is my birthday. I was born on December 9 in 1971. 20 years back, her father passed away, therefore, according to her, in 2001, yeah? So, you know, this, this number will fuck you up, because the next article here, she reads, cancer problem, if you remember, 2023, again, was 20 years ago. It was, again, 20 years ago. Let me see this article. It's again 20 years ago. Look at that. Osvai bitki zarakom. Pred 20 leti. She was 20 years ago. She was 20 years ago a cancer. Huh? Eh? 20 years ago, cancer. 20 years ago, cancer, my ass, baby. 20 years ago, cancer, jail time coming for you, baby. This here is what fuck you. This stuff here. It's called the Darien Gap. The unforgivable Darien Gap. This one here. This is the one that got you. 20 years ago, my ass, baby. 
jail coming, knocking on your door now. You see this here? This is what I need to complete right now in this video where I am. Well, look at that. Isn't that a shame? I mean, they're going to fucking make me delete the whole thing. And the article is practically written. But it maybe had to be this way, you know? Maybe it had to be this way because it needs to be clarified about it. But the, you see, the blogger is not going to bring the article that is written right there in front of you. So that, that really sucks, I mean. See, now what's going to happen is I am going to go. I'm going to have to go. What happened in a Darien Gap, and I not defend myself. I've written here, Tanya Fayon went on Darien Gap trip with a cancer to suggest me in the middle of the jungle how she has a difficulty walking on rough ter terrain due to cancer. So Milan Kuch and da 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 Tanya Fayon went on because she felt disgraced, because she felt like, fuck, you know, I have to do it. Uh, if she had done it, then I have to do it too. And the fact is that I was the one who lured Tanya Fayon on the trip, guaranteeing her that she had nothing to worry about. This is beautiful, wonderful nature, wonderful, nice. Something she actually wanted to do since 90s, since early 90s, but couldn't do. She watched others, like Robert Golop and all these people, Bord Pacher, all this company that was involved in this crime, going overseas on this beautiful trip. But she couldn't do it. She had a problem because of the cancer is what she claimed. The problem with the cancer, the problem with the cancer, the problem with the cancer. So she couldn't do it. She couldn't have fucking done it for 10 years. She wanted to do it and she couldn't do it. And you're going to fucking tell me you got the cancer in 2000 and what is it? Three? No, baby, you did not get cancer in 2003. Again, 20 years ago. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like this. Too many witnesses. Too many witnesses, too many people that know you. The whole parliament can tell about the stuff I'm talking about. They went to the Darien Cap. They know you. Your schoolmates knew you. Your university people, where you attended university, they knew you. Too many people knew you. Too many people knew about your cancer problems. So you're on a thin ice here by saying misinformation. This is a misinformation. This is not true. She had a cancer since her time in high school. Well, that means that she was... Now, I'm not going to go and say 14 years old, but I'm going to go at least 16 years of age. 16 years of age. Well, when you're saying 16 years of age, you know, you're talking probably about 1986, 1987, 1986, 1987. And this problems exploded in her, in her last grade of the university. It became, this problem became very, very apparent. In the last grade of the university, she experienced more and more serious, very serious problems. So we go to the last year of university, we are talking about her in age 1992, probably, I would say. Yes? Um, 1992, probably, I would say. 1992, 1993, something like this. If she was in the university at the time, that's what I need to stress. In 1992, in 1993, I do not know. 
I do not know. I don't fucking know if she was in university when she was in university. Uh, and I don't care. All I remember is in 1992, next to being guilty for her having cancer, because I was the one who made problems in the family. When in reality, her father had relationship with other females. I advised her father to leave the mother and go away from her. I could not stand her mother. Her mother was a fucking pain in the ass. Plain and simple. Her father was calm. Her mama was only into one thing. Yelling, screaming, and that kind of stuff. And being drugged up and listened to that stuff was not pleasant at all. Any MKUltra, whoever was subjected to MKUltra, will tell you about stuff I'm talking about is actual. This is the way it works. Nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety three is when I was taken with her, with her mother, on some clinic. Uh, it was yelling, it was screaming that I caused cancer and so on and so forth. Yes, father still sticked around for some time. Uh, this affair became stronger and stronger. Uh, I don't think that he could stand the mama anymore. And so I think the two separated. And that was listed into the obituary in 2001 as her father is dead. This lady is about nothing other than lie, which is completely understandable. It was the same thing with the psychiatrist Kopsch. It was the same thing with the police investigators. These people that participated and did the bad stuff, they would not fucking disclose you absolutely anything about it. And the same shit went on with Milan Kuchan and with all these people. They would give you, they would allow, they would involve other people would get involved in it. But this case is not resolved because of them. These people screwed up the whole thing, if anything, because uh, actually there was nothing really to it. I never agreed to this type of mistreatment in the first place. But what they did was they clustered, they twisted the whole thing into completely unbearable. Any information about these people that was given to me is, on my behalf, it's absolutely doubtful. I would not even, in fact, based on the stuff that I would not even go and state anything. Well, the only thing I can tell you is what I know went on, what I have tasted on my skin, what I have experienced, what I can testify for you. Whatever physicians, Slovenian physicians, that claimed I was completely care, I had no fucking health problems, and I participated in this torture and poisoning, had to say about her medical record, that doesn't concern me in absolutely any way. So this is the real testimony about Tanya Fayon, who threatened, intimidated even with the issue on whether you will say this or whether you will say that. Yeah. So in 2003, I became actually even guilty for her not having the ability to have the children because I was the one, of course, who ordered her to be poisoned, obviously, with the cancer and stuff like this. This is a Tanya Fayon. This is a real Tanya Fayon. Get to know Tanya Fayon.